So those fingerprints are all over everything. And I don't know if anyone knows this, but he also had an impact on the hardwood floor as well. Let me pull this picture up. There's a story behind Bo actually also influenced the coming of the Fab Five. So you might ask, well, how did Bo, who's the football coach, uh, impact uh, the coming of the Fab Five? Well, um, here's another book I have. This, this is the Fab Five. This was written by Mitch Album. I don't think Mitch does a lot of sports stuff, but he wrote for the Detroit, I believe it's the Detroit Free Press. Well, this is the Fab Five, and this is actually chronicling the Fab Fives, um, how they came together and how they gradually went to the NBA um, at the University of Michigan in 1992. And so it turns out that um, that 1989 season when they won the Final Four in Seattle, uh, they were they started the season coached by uh, Bill Frieder. And as they got closer to postseason play, uh, Bill Frieder was shopping around, and one of the schools he was looking at going to coach at was Arizona State. Well, Bo, I don't know if you guys can see this, but yeah, there's the picture right there. There's uh, Bo and Steve Fisher. Steve Fisher was an assistant on Bill Frieder's staff, and once Bo got wind of the fact that Bill Frieder was looking for another job, he fired him and promoted Steve Fisher to the head coach, the head coach position. Of the basketball team and and Bo was quoted as saying that we have to have a Michigan man coaching my, my boys coaching our boys so that's how Steve Fisher got into that position they won the national title and as you know years later he recruited Chris Weber Jalen Rose Jawan Howard Jimmy King and Ray Jackson and that's how the Fab Five got there to the University of Michigan I have another comment here 